Hey guys, it's Sarah, your friendly neighborhood disabled queer girl. Oh yeah. Hey, for those who don't know, I am Sarah. I usually sit here to talk about disabled stuff, tell you what's going on with my life. But today, I am here to tell you some obvious stuff. For those who haven't been paying attention, since I was 15, I've identified as somewhere on the LGBT plus spectrum. Um, for nine years, until about a couple of weeks ago, I identified as bisexual. Uh, discovered a couple of weeks ago, I am in fact a lesbian. How did you come across that, Sarah? You've had boyfriends, Sarah. Like, obviously, you're not. It must be a phase, Sarah. Welcome to today's topic of compare. Compulsory heterosexuality is where it is assumed and enforced uh, heterosexuality by the patriarchy and the heteronormative society. Um, it's obvious we live in a patriarchal society, right? Whenever I walk down the street, like usually it's fine, but occasionally you'll get the, the wolf whistles and the very sexist attitudes of men where they believe that they have a right to date you and just because you're nice to them they assume that that means you want to get with them and if you don't that means that you're a bitch or you're ugly anyway or whatever you know men are pigs I don't actually hate men let's just clarify this but we still do live in a patriarchal society. And if you want to fight me on that, I studied uh, communication and culture and did a whole essay on feminism. I'm not an extreme radical feminist. Like, let's be fair. Feminism is actually about the equality of the sexes. But anyway, that's not why we're here. It's a patriarchal society, but it's also a heteronormative society. I am always asked... Oh, when are you going to get a boyfriend? Have you got a boyfriend yet? Oh, um, don't worry. When you get a husband and have kids, all that, you know, it is automatically assumed when you see people that they are straight. You know? Until you see otherwise. That's why people have coming out videos. Because they're fed up with people assuming that they're straight. And even when people are pretty blunt about it, like, there's this famous um, interview with David Bowie where he's said so many times that he's bisexual and people are still, like, questioning, like, oh, but are you really... are you really bisexual? Um, and oh, I'll put a link to one somewhere in the description because it drives me nuts because people are like, hmm, such and such and her gal pal are off being super close best friends. It's like... They're lesbians, just saying. So it's very, like, assumed. I spent so much of my life not understanding anything about gay culture, not knowing anything about the fact that, like, women could like women. For a while, I kept having crushes on girls when I was younger. I assumed it was just that I wanted to be super close friends with them. But when I look back, I see the signs of, like, crushing on them in the same way that I'd crush on guys. Um, Any time that I would crush on a guy, I would ruin it. <laughs> or, like, try to get out. I was, like, almost always the jumpy because I was like, mm, I'm bored of this now. Like, legit, I told a guy once that I was bored of our relationship and I wanted it to go away. Because I was in relationships, because I liked the idea of a relationship. And I was always told that I should end up with a man. And so, even when I came out as bi, I was still like, okay, I'm going to end up with a man and then I can fulfill their idea of me. And I can feel, fulfill what they want me to do. And I had boyfriends, yes. Um, what I realised through reading about Compet um, was that all the things that I would do was actually signs that I wasn't actually interested in them. I would pick someone to be interested in and then like force myself to be interested in them. 
I would go, hmm, who's like the best person that I can find that will be like okay and is sort of around my age group and whatever. And then I'd select them and be like, okay, I'm going to have a crush on you. Uh, and I would like force myself to have crushes on men so that I'd be able to get a boyfriend because all my friends had boyfriends and it was always weird that I'd never had a boyfriend and whatever. In order to be interested in the men, I would picture women's faces over their face to like, so that I wouldn't like be bored or wouldn't, so that I'd actually want to like kiss them and stuff. Um, I would imagine them as a woman. I would go for girly guys. I would find myself attracted to gay guys because they were more feminine. Yes, I had crushes on girls, but I was really, really scared to go act on that because I was letting people down. Um, even though, like, nobody said this, like, I came out to my parents and they were pretty chill. Um, but I always felt this pressure to be straight, or at least, like, half straight, which isn't really what bisexuality is, but that's where I was at. Um, even like from the church aspect, um, I was never explicitly told like the whole gays are going to hell thing that, you know, extreme religious people shout about sometimes, which is, uh, not necessarily true. Just saying, like people seem chill, but I don't really know what people would think because it hasn't been spoken about a great deal. So I've always been scared to tell people because I've had friends who have gone to churches and have been told that they're not allowed to do stuff anymore because they're gay or have been kicked out of churches because they're gay or have been just like still allowed to carry on but given sort of like dirty looks and felt shunned from the congregation. And my congregation is so lovely. And I'm sure they'll be chill about it, even if they don't agree. I have fr I have a friend who isn't 100% sure if they're chill about people being gay or not, but she's still going to be my friend. Obviously, we have differing opinions on that because, you know, hello, I am a gay Christian. Also, I have this t-shirt that is a Jessica Calgren Frozard thing. It says because gay on it. I love it. I wear that. I have my plaid shirt, I have my beanie, and I have my rainbow wheels on my wheelchair, and nobody has said anything. <laughs> like, it's pretty obvious. People, when they meet me, they read lesbian. And then I was, I'd be like, oh no, I'm bi, like I like men do, um, and all that, and just, I would try to... I don't know, I just always felt pressured to like men, um, but when I was trying to think of crushes, I would mainly come up with women, and since reading stuff, and telling my friends, and telling my parents that I'm pretty sure I'm a lesbian, I have felt so much more relieved, I have looked at the same men that I had crushes on, and realised that what I wanted was to be them so that I could be with their partners <laughs> or I just wanted to like find someone that would be nice and they were a nice friend and so I wanted to like um find someone to date and it's not saying that like I didn't like the people that I dated of course I did but I would never want to marry them like whenever I picture my future I picture myself with a woman and a dog <laughs> and some cats, and adopted children, because I do not want to pass down these fun genetics to them, so that's always the future that I picture, even before I realised, and I feel so much freer, and now this video is going to go out, and a bunch of people who didn't already know will see, and we'll see how people react. This will be a fun game. But I feel so free and so like seen. Like, I feel like a great weight has been lifted. I'm so much less stressed. Bye, friends. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>